Good afternoon. Welcome to Coffee with the One True King. We are glad to have you join us this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Hope you all having a blessed week. Last week marked two years since we started this Bible study. It's amazing how fast time flies by. Last week I had planned on teaching session four of the uh, series, The Power of Worship, Jesus Breaks Chains. But then I got sick with a sinus infection and an ear infection a few days before that, so I couldn't teach. Um, so the schedule changed and I said, well, I guess Lord was supposed to do that lesson the following week. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do session four, and then next week will be session five. Today, we are going to talk about Jesus over fear. Let us pray, and then we will dive into the lesson and dig into the treasures of God's word. Holy Father, I ask your Holy Spirit to come. Meet us here. Lord, I believe, Lord God, that you have something that you want to teach us, that you have something that you want all of us to learn here today through your holy word. Lord, your word is powerful. Your word changes lives. Your word changes hearts. Your word restores. Your word rejuvenates. Your word heals. Your word um, gives us wisdom and guidance through your word, Father God. Your word is our guide for this life. I ask you, Lord, to heal those who need healing today. Those who need miracles in, in their body, I ask you, Lord, you are the ultimate physician. Do miracles on their behalf. Heal them. Heal them, Father God, from head to toe, Lord Jesus. Heal their bodies. Strengthen their bodies, Father God. Give them strength, Lord Jesus. We pray for those who need wisdom, that you will give them wisdom and guidance on every decision they have to make, Father God. We pray for those who need doors to open. Open doors on their behalf, Father God. For those who need provision, your Jehovah Jireh, our provider. So, so I ask you, Lord, that, that you provide for them, Lord Jesus. For those who, who need um, just redemption, I ask you to provide redemption, Father God. I ask you to save souls here today. I ask you that you would let your word minister to people today, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' holy name, encourage those who need encouragement through your word. In Jesus' holy name, amen. You may have heard a new song that was released over the summer um, by a well-known Christian artist named Brandon Lake. Brandon Lake wrote and released this song 
place you anywhere all your the summer. Verse one says Sometimes you got to, sometimes you gotta dance through the darkness, sing through the fire, praise when it doesn't praise when it don't make sense. Sometimes you gotta steal down the giant, worship from the lion's den. Verse two says sometimes you gotta shout from the mountain, louder in the valley, trusting that he's gonna get you there. Sometimes you've got to welcome the wonder, wait for the answer, worship with your hands in the air, or place you anywhere. The chorus says, praise, giving praise, giving praise in the highest. Praise, giving praise, giving praise in the highest. He is worthy. Yes, he is worthy of all of the praise. Verse 3 says, Sometimes you got to praise in the prison. Cry out to heaven. Shout it till the doors fling wide. Sometimes you got to stand on your shackles. Brave in the battle. Worship with your hands held high. I'll praise you anywhere. Praise, give him praise, give him praise in the highest. Praise, give him praise, give him praise in the highest. He is worthy. Yes, he is worthy of all of the praise. The bridge says, faithful all my life, blessings day and night, countless reasons why, I'll praise you anywhere. Every promise kept, goodness every step. Each and every breath, I'll praise you anywhere. Praise, give him praise, give him praise in the highest. Praise, give him praise, give him praise in the highest. He is worthy. Yes, he is worthy of all of the praise. I'll praise you anywhere. O oh, mountain or oh, valley, I know that you're with me there. I'll praise you anywhere. Matsuo Kato says, meet your fears with faith. If you have your Bible, we're going to look at Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Elizabeth Elliot says, Feel arises when we imagine everything that depends on us. Philippians 4, 6-7 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. An unknown author says, God is so beautiful. He is with you. He is healed. Jesus has heartfelt compassion towards his daughters and sons. He loves everyone. You can feel it all throughout scriptures. Corey Ten Boom says, Is prayer your steering wheel or your steel tire? If you've been familiar with my Bible study lessons, then you've heard that quote by Corey Ten Boom before, or if you read my devotionals. No one can exclude God's love because the ability is completely impossible. It is deep down in believers' souls. Hannah Dorth says, Live a life so set apart, so drastically loving others and stilling out joy that the only explanation is Jesus. 
Those words are so powerful that I'm going to read that quote again. Hannah Doth says, Live a life so set apart, so drastically loving others and stirring out joy that the only explanation is Jesus. Amen. Shouldn't we all want to live joy-filled, joy-filled lives? Job 33, verse 2, New Living Translation says, Now that I have begun to speak, let me continue. An unknown author says, God is teaching you how to be silent in a frustrated season. The less you say, the more he moves. Stay silent. Communication is key with Christ. We also have to listen to him. He wants to communicate with his daughters and sons. We should learn to do the same. Are you having in-depth conversations with your Heavenly Father? Christine Kane says, Allow God to continually soften your heart so that it beats for what his heart beats for. People. Do you have a heart for people? Are you willing to go out of your way and share the gospel with them? When you see that stranger, do you walk up to them and say, Hey, let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you know him as your personal Lord and Savior? If they answer no, then share with them how they can become a Christian. We are supposed to live out the gospel. We're supposed to illuminate his light wherever we go. Jesus calls us to take up our cross and follow him daily. That's not just a one-time thing. It's what we're supposed to do 24-7. Is take up our cross and follow Jesus. You might remember a lesson that I taught a while back called Live Out the Gospel. Are you living out the gospel? If you are like me, Sometimes you question what the Lord is doing in this current season of your life. Here's what everyone has to remember. He can see the future and we can't. You may not, excuse me, you may feel like you don't fit in with everyone. Here's what God says about that. God says, I never intended for you to fit in. We should show everyone the love of God as Christians. Are you bored for Christ? He wants his daughters and sons to live godly lives. The Lord's words are unfilling. He desires us to demonstrate his affection each day. <clears throat> he desires us to demonstrate his affection each day. How are you going to show the love of Jesus to a stranger today? He adores his followers. The Savior's words of truth flow throughout scriptures. Everyone's identity is found in him. Are you going to allow the Lord to define, to define God for you? His love forever casts aside fears. Who is going to define you? Are you going to believe what the word says about you? Or are you going to believe what God says about you? Choose the Lord always. You won't regret it. The one true king has genuine feelings towards believers in him.
you might be familiar with a song called You Make Me Brave by Bethel Music, Amanda Lindsay Cook. Verse 1 says, I stand before you now, the greatness of your renown. I have heard of the majesty and wonder of you. King of heaven and humility I bow. The chorus says, As your love and wave after wave clashes over me, clashes over me, for you are for us, you are not against us. Champion of heaven, you made a way for all to enter in to your love. Verse 2 says, I have heard you calling my name. I have heard the song of your, I have heard the song of love that you sing. So I will let you draw me out beyond the shore into your grace. You make me brave. You make me brave. You call me out beyond the shore into the waves. You make me brave. You make me brave. No fear can hinder now the Lord. No fear can hinder now the loves that made a way. Repeat the, repeat the bridge. You make me brave. You make me brave. You call me out beyond the shore and to the waves. You make me brave. You make me brave. No fear can hinder now the loves that made a way. Does the Lord make you brave? Matthew 10, verse 20, New Living Translation says, For it is not you who will be seeking, it will be the steward of your father seeking through you. Holly Goth says, I am an imperfect woman who is perfectly loved by a perfect God. The Lord wants a relationship with you. You are desired. He loves his children more than anyone could destroy Jesus calls you a daughter or son of the one true king. A place has already been established for you in heaven. Do you look forward to the day that you will finally see your Savior face to face? If someone asked me that same question without hesitation, I would answer yes. Christ came to serve others. We should be doing the same. This year, may we build people's assurance up instead of tearing them down. 1 John 3 to the New Living Translation says, Dear friends, we are already God's children, but he has not yet shown us what we will be like when Christ, when Christ appears. But we do know that we will be like him, for we will see him as he really is. Francis Chan says, when you are running towards Christ, you are freed up to serve, love, and give thanks without guilt, worry, or fear. God wants to set us free from our fears. Victory comes from him alone. He will give you peace as a courageous lion. Stay strong with Christ. Keep his word close to your heart by repeating it in your mind daily. Jesus wants to relieve your stress. Will you lay every burden at his feet today? The Lord longs to carry them on his shoulders. He will rain down a peace as you have never known. May we express our faith in the one true King's love. We set our Savior. Anonymous says the phrase, do not be afraid. It's written in the Bible 365 times. Galatians 5.16, New Living Translation says, So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing, then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. An unknown author says, I no longer fret when Satan whispers, you can't be mended. Because when Jesus said it is finished, I believe he meant it. Seek the Lord through difficult moments. Pread his love to the ends of the earth. You can overcome every obstacle with Jesus. He can change all burdens and the blessings. Lay them at the foot of the cross. Pursue him daily. Prayer always works. Billy Graham said, before, ch 
Before prayer changes others, it first changes us. I'll read that quote again by Billy Graham. Billy Graham said, Before prayer changes others, it first changes us. The winter king made a way for us all the time. He still makes a way for all of us each and every day. Live by his power, our value is found in Christ. If you are lonely, open God's whole reward and spend undisturbed time with him. Anonymous says, God can turn a warrior into a warrior, a trial into a triumph, a mess into a message, a test into a testimony. Luke twenty four forty five New Living Translation says, Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Anonymous says, You will have everything exactly when you need it. God's got you. Jesus sees us as a much better version than we see ourselves as. Keep on believing in Christ. He fused his children with him. Continue to lift up your eyes toward heaven. The Lord completes everything he ever begins. Remember, you are united as one with the King of Kings since becoming a believer in him. The King of Kings shows everyone each day how to love like he does. Our Savior is unchanging. We don't have to prove ourselves to him. An unknown author says, Google can inform you, but God will transform you. I'll read that again. An unknown author says, Google can inform you, but God will transform you. Proverbs 10.25, New Living Translation says, When the storms of life come, the wicked are roared away, but the godly have a lasting foundation. Gina Viviano says, If we really believe God wants to be in all parts of our life, we can't drop God off in the morning and pick him up at 5 p.m. Embrace your relationship with the Lion of Judah. He will guide you through the storms of life. The Lord is always there for his followers day and night. You can stick with him 24-7. Our Savior doesn't sleep. He is constantly watching over his children. He sends guardian angels to guide and protect us. If you want to silence the devil, start worshiping God and praising him. Rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. He and his demons will stamp away. Lucifer trembles at the name of Christ. Anonymous says, Go through what you go through. Matthew 5.13 says, You are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. Joshua Lutz says, You cannot make it in this world without Jesus. Have you, given the, have you given Jesus the key to your heart? He knows what is best for us. The Lord guards everyone's souls all the time. We can always find him. Our Savior wants, our Savior wants to prosper his children and everything they do. We were made for Christ. Breathe in his unending love today. Pursue God always. Tell everyone about him. The shepherd has anointed you for his kingdom. He cares about you. Our Abba Father will forever guide you with his ultimate compass. Place every ounce of trust in this shepherd. Receive his favor today. Anonymous says, Lord, protect me from anything that wasn't sent by you. Proverbs 4.18 says, The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines bright which shines ever brighter until the full light of day. J.R.R. Tolkien says, All that is gold does not glitter. Not all those who wander are lost. 
The oil that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. We shouldn't trust everything we see. Satan is sneaky. He likes to pry his way in through a crack in the door. The father of lies will tell you that it's impossible to change. Remember, he is a deceiver. Jesus always provides a way out. He was tempted by the devil in the wilderness. Matthew 4, 1 through 11 says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him the kingdoms of the Lord and the plunder. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and the angels came and attended to him. God chases us to the bottom of the pit and pulls us out. Christ will meet you in your midnight hour because that is what love does. An unknown author says, Nothing is more impressive than a person who is secure in the unique way God made her. If you read scriptures, it reveals how Jesus had genuine compassion on people and he still does today. He is tender-hearted toward his followers. God molds us every day into the daughters and sons he wants us to be. Are you serving him with joy inside your soul? Wick Warren says, The deepest level of worship is praising God in spite of pain, thanking God during a trial, trusting him when tempted, surrendering while suffering, and loving him when he seems distant. The Lord wants to lavish an abundance of blessings on you. Continue to endure for Christ. You will be enriched by the one true King far beyond anyone's understanding. May we set our hearts on the author and finisher of our faith. Remember that God's love is eternal. Anonymous says, The most beautiful woman in the world is the one who is fearlessly herself, standing and who standing and who her creator made her to be, and the one who runs relentlessly after God's heart. Psalm nine verse one says, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all the marvelous marvelous things you have done. An unknown author says, Worrying about everything was never part of God's plan. So why is it a part of yours? 1 Corinthians 13.1 says, If I could speak all languages of earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. God's love pours over us each day. The Holy Spirit ignites the fire in Christians' hearts that cannot be contained. Jesus died on the cross in our place. Will you allow him to wash you with his genuine love today? Anonymous says, Not all doors are opened after a single knock, and not all blessings come after a single prayer. Christ's hope is unchanging. He holds his daughters and sons counted tears in his hands. The Lord knows the deepest desires of our hearts because he put them there. If they align with thy perfect will, we will see our dreams come to pass. Our Abba Father is for us and not against us.
If you have any prayer requests, you may post them in the comment section at this time. We will gladly pray for you. Thank you everyone for praying for me last week. Um, as you can tell, I'm much better from my sinus infection and uh, ear infection and my voice is getting back to normal. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> um, if you have not received Christ as your personal Savior, now is the opportunity to make that decision to say yes to Jesus. We will gladly pray for you. Holy Father, I admit that I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. Come into my heart, be the Lord of my life. Forgive me of all my sins. I believe, Lord, that you sent your one and only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross 2,000 years ago. And he, he, after he died on the cross, he went down into the tomb. But he did not stay there. Three days later, he rose from the grave. He ascended into heaven, and he's seated at the right hand of God the Father in eternity. He's making intercession for us. He's making a way, just like he made a way for souls to be saved. Lord, he's still saving souls today. And I believe with all my heart that Jesus is Lord. Your word says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Well, God, I believe that Jesus is seated on the throne in heaven at the right hand of God the Father. So I am now a believer in Christ. I am now saved by your grace. And my feet are on thy path of righteousness. In Jesus' holy name, amen. If you just prayed that prayer, welcome to the family of God. We celebrate with you. Excuse me. We celebrate with you. Your next steps would be to find a local church near you, get involved, and let the pastors there know that you just got saved. They will have classes, resources, and Bibles, like this one, available for you. Um, if you want to start reading the Bible before then, you can purchase one at your local grocery store, at Dollar Tree, um, online. You can also read it in your internet browser or you can read the word on your tablet or mobile device. All you have to do is download a Bible application and you can read the word through the Bible app um, for free. They have free ones out there that don't cost two dollars and all that. Just various ways to get daily devotionals and scripture in your life have a blessed week we will see y'all next week and if you enjoyed today's bible study click the share button so that more people can be encouraged also it will be uploaded to youtube shortly you can also invite a friend to watch today's bible study or come join us here on live stream next week so that they can also um, heal the Lord and heal what Jesus has to say to them. My challenge for you is to share the gospel with someone who does not know Jesus. Have a blessed week. Stay safe. Bye.